now that it's week one and you guys are out of preseason and heading into prep for the first game, how do you sort of structure this week as you get ready for Saturday? So the idea today, uh, and this week, is to um, raise the intensity and to uh, lower the volume of the session. So the session um, uh, will be uh, short, and uh, but we're going to increase the intensity. And uh, this is good because, as you know, uh, Philadelphia, the, the way they play, they play with a lot of intensity. So it's going to be uh, um, good for the player to um, to, uh, to work on that, and also to um, to adjust uh, the little uh, specificity regarding uh, the way we want to play, and uh, a couple of nuances uh, regarding the, the opposition of Philadelphia. I know Aloy has been away for about a week now. Do you have any concerns about his availability for Saturday? Uh, he won't be available. Okay. Uh, so um, we planned that already, so, so um, we will adjust. More general question on, on the season. Um, I don't know if you're the type that likes to set specific goals, but wh what do you see as realistic for this team this year in terms of what you guys want to achieve on the field? Uh, be limit be uh, limitless. This is uh, the way uh, we see uh, everything. We have um, no limit. Uh, the idea now is to uh, um, be consistent with the way we want to play, uh, with the ball and without the ball. I'm not a big fan of uh, standing and everything like that. We know that um, um, to make the playoff, we need uh, between a 13 and a 15 wins. So uh, I don't, uh, just to be uh, crystal honest with you also, I don't uh, uh, look at the, the standing. Uh, for the moment, this is not uh, something that I, I don't have an interest for that. Uh, maybe the last, uh, the last 10 uh, games, yes. But for the moment, what I want is uh, to be consistent with the way you want to play. And we know that to make the playoff, we need between uh, 13 and 15 wins. So, but it's all about the, how we want to play, the consistency of how we want to defend, the consistency of how we want to attack. Regarding the opposition, we, we focus on us. And uh, this is the most important. When we were talking with uh, Tim Bezbachenko, he focused a lot on the youth of this team and the players that have come up through Crew 2 and, and the excitement about those players. Who maybe has stood out to you that, that maybe fans don't know about a ton yet, but, but could have a bigger impact this year than, than maybe people expected in some of the young guys? Oh, first of all, this is really important to have a, a good shusha in the, in the club. And uh, this is one club, and the vision is, um, is really interesting because uh, uh, between the, the reserve team and us, this, we work the same way. And it uh, doesn't mean that we're going to play with the same system, but the same concept. Uh, also uh, with the, uh, the academy. So um, listen, uh, you're gonna, um, Phil Quinton, it's, um, he, he played with um, Crew 2 last year, and um, he's been good. He's been good uh, in terms of uh, try to do good things and also try to learn from uh, his mistakes. So uh, this is a really interesting player. Uh, he has a good challenge in front of him, but uh, he's a, uh, he accepts the challenge. So, um, and after that, there is yes, more player also. But the idea is to uh, to give them also the time to assess, not to assess, but to understand what we want to do. But uh, like I told you, if I need to use a, a young player, I would do it. No problem with that. If I need to use an, uh, an old player, I would do it also. It's all about what type of profile do I need um, when we're gonna face an opposition. So this is more about this. This is more about. This is not about the name or or GPs or as you know. This is about we're gonna face and I'm giving you. I'm giving you an example. We're gonna face um, uh, Philadelphia. They play with a cl clear idea. So I need specific players to play against Philadelphia. We're gonna play DC in two weeks. I will change. Maybe I will change. I'm not sure, but I will change maybe because. Maybe the, the way we're gonna attack or the way we're gonna defend, I will use another type of player for that. So this is the way I see uh, everything with this. And I know throughout the preseason you wanted to, to have time to evaluate the guys that were here. Now that we're at the first week, how do you feel like this roster is is set for at least this early portion of, of the season? I'm happy. I'm happy with the roster. Um, 
it's clear with the club that we want to improve the team every time when, when we have a possibility, but also when we had a need. And uh, so this is uh, this is something that we keep uh, in our mind. And um, but for the moment, I'm really happy with the roster. And uh, I have a different type of players, uh, offensively and defensively. And uh, when is going to be the time to add players, we will do it. But for the moment, um, I'm, I'm happy with uh, what I have. You talked about a mix of experienced players and younger players. Tim said the same thing, and looking for a leader, especially with Jonathan gone now. What are you looking for specifically in a captain? And what do you want to see from that person or persons as the season goes along? Um, this is not a big task for me, uh, uh, the, the captain, because I believe that uh, this is uh, what is really important is to have uh, leaders in the team, not only one. So the idea is, uh, yes, we're going to have uh, not one, but three captains. And uh, the idea is also to, uh, to discuss with uh, a lot of players regarding the, what we need to face. Uh, if we have an issue uh, with uh, something, maybe I will uh, discuss with uh, eight players with different personalities. And uh, in two weeks, if we have another issue, this is not the same issue, maybe I will discuss with two players. It depends. For me, the, the, we try to develop this leadership. Uh, it's a day-to-day -day work. Uh, so I know that they have to compete. Every day, we have to compete with themselves first, and after that, to, 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 um, to maximize the level of everybody. But in terms of leadership, I cannot uh, uh, define this player is going to be a, a good leader. No, they have to show me that. And uh, I will give them the time to show me that. But for the moment, I'm, I'm pretty confident about, not I'm pretty, I'm confident about the group. And uh, they understand what I want as a player, but also as a person. So now it's a process. It's a process. And uh, maybe in, in two months, I will tell you that uh, we have uh, 10 leaders, or maybe we have zero leaders. I don't know. But uh, I know where we want to go. Speaking of that process, what's the give and take like of being a leader on this new team for yourself, while also letting some of the guys that are on the team be the leaders? How do you figure out when to use your voice and when to let them use theirs? This is the good difference to be a, a good coach and a great coach. Not easy. So uh, with, a lot of, uh, with a lot of humility, the idea is to, uh, to put the structure. So we put the structure with the staff on the pitch and also off the pitch and within that they are they have to take ownership about that they have the freedom also to do things i don't we have values strict values we discussed we've been talking a lot about this we explain why we have these values but we don't have many rules because i believe that uh, if they understand the values they're going to be able to adjust themselves to see if they are on the right path or not so again, this is a day-to-day -day work, but the most important is to create a safe environment, a clear environment that they have to express themselves. And like I like to tell, to tell them, we will, uh, dis we will disagree at a certain moment. No problem with that, but they have to understand why we do what we do. And after that, we can, I'm always open to discuss, but uh, it's good also to challenge them and to support them. So it, depend, it really depends about the present moment. Hey coach, how would you evaluate the players' buy-in to your system? Uh, it could be uh, on the pitch, when they do something really interesting in terms of concept. And it could be also in the cafeteria, when I can see a player who is able to uh, put the chair back. It could be everything. So this is, again, this is something I don't talk a lot. But I like to see a lot of things, and uh, and for me, this is uh, I saw already a lot of uh, good things from the player, that, and, and I can feel that they buy into it. But uh, on the pitch, this is um, we do a lot of videos also to show them what we want, what we need to adjust. And uh, to be really honest with you, we see now we're gonna start the marathon. Sorry, sorry, four games, but they've been really, really interesting in terms of trying to. Uh, apply the concept, try to uh, take ownership about this and, uh, 
And for me, it's easy because when I have goosebumps, means that uh, we are doing, we are going the right way. And I had uh, two or three times, it happened two or three times, so I am happy. There have been reports about what the MLS Cup playoff structure will look like, but the league hasn't announced anything officially yet. Um, I know that's a ways off, but going into a season, is it difficult to know not knowing what you need to do to accomplish your goals at the end of the season to, to start the year? I would say, yeah, this is not common. So uh, I would say um, it's difficult to understand why we don't know. But uh, if we don't know, it's because they are not sure about something. And uh, at the same time, it's a weird a bit. But for me, I'm going to be honest with you, this is not an issue because uh, this is only the beginning. So uh, uh, I focus on the way we want to play. I'm, my focus is on that. The way we want to play offensively and defensively and the spirit that I want that uh, the player is going to do. So, and we know that it's going to be all seven or eight teams uh, for the player. The format, I don't know yet, but uh, it's not an issue for me because I focus on really the present moment, so the next three or four games, and after that, we'll see. But hopefully, we're going to be able to know that uh, before the kickoff. <laughs> and uh, going back to the captain question, will you have one guy who wears the armband for speaking to the referee and whatnot? Or yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. Everything is settled already, but this is more about the group. This is more about the way I see it, I see it as a group. Do you want to tell us who it is? Oh, be patient. <laughs> two, two, three, four, four days, and you're gonna see. No problem with that. <laughs> but good question. <laughs>